all right um so uh yuti would you like to go next yes sure uh since uh, i came a little bit late i am so sorry for that uh, there was some miscommunication um what i take back from here is exactly similar to what ruchi said uh, we all are doing a bit i think in whatever way we can and i have seen so many uh, people you know who are my age uh, i think uh, priyanka is also from my a batch we so many of our batch mates and people who have been practicing before us and new psychology learners new mental health professionals have started their own uh, you know practices their, their own way of spreading mental health awareness uh, we are approaching ngos we are approaching uh, people like you who are you know promoting mental health and i don't know if this is mentioned earlier but the petition that you have shalmali uh, the petition that you have started for including social and emotional learning you know that is something commendable i mean i really appreciate what you are doing and i think we all are so ready to do anything that comes our way which will promote mental health and for now i think this is really uh, enough for uh, i mean not enough but uh, this is really good i mean yeah that's it and if i really my perspective goes always towards the policy level and i feel that because here in india i think until something is not made compulsory you know we work that way uh, or if we are not uh, charged fine for something we don't follow it i mean having people to wear a mask during this pandemic is also becoming difficult right now so uh, including mental health in the curriculum or uh, having a counselor you know consulting a counselor right from your child is born is something that should come from the government that's what i feel only then there will be a change that too it will take some time So yes definitely what? and i i would say that you know the first step was uh, kiran that was uh, the national mental health helpline that is started so that is you know that is somewhere uh, we are moving towards a change we are moving towards a difference that government is uh, doing something in order to make uh, or you know kind of paying attention towards mental health um i would request aditi to go next okay so i think in terms of take backs a couple of things i won't repeat what everyone said but i think top down bottom up both work and i think what i see as a gap very often is that we keep like if i'm working at the grassroots or i'm working at policy level we say nahi tum karo and the other person says nahi tum pehle karo and i think the problem is that everyone needs to work everyone needs to work everyone needs to recognize responsibility and ownership in terms of their role with mental health where they stand with mental health um you know what um they sort of what they specialize in. so i think another thing i realize is that recognizing what you're trained in what your realm of capability and doing just that and not kind of trying to do everything but collaborate which is i think what's great about a platform like this that we get to meet you know eight different people or five different people or my mathematics is bad and i'm not counting screens but you know you meet people who then you know you can refer out to or you can collaborate with to build on and same way i think you look at government you look at asha workers you look at schools you look at teachers you look at uh, parents if we can create an approach where everyone takes accountability for their part in it that's when something will change not when we keep looking at what x y z can do versus you know i'm stuck right now and i think that conversation really needs to come in and i think collaboration needs to come if we don't work together um it's never going to happen and even today mental health professionals work in isolated silos there is a grading between mental health professionals there is this whole psychiatry psychology art based therapy you know we get thrown as people running around with balloons so there's a whole fight there and then integrating with the medical community like aruba said i think it's taken me all of i mean now 8 years to develop the art based therapy program to be seen as a clinical expert who's not walking around with balloons um to get referrals like you're saying from you know the medical community where it's second nature and it's taken a long time um to have that phone call be the next step i don't know okay i think you need uh, this kind of support 
but it works both ways. And initially when I walked into hospital, I was like, I don't think I'll survive this place because they don't get it. They don't understand. They don't respect us. And I think part of the fight there is also to recognize our lack of training and the fact that we need to be better trained. We need to be well read. Um, our interns that are coming in or anyone, the young people that are beginning in this profession need to keep upgrading. And unfortunately, we still don't have systems. Forget the larger system, the mental health system within our community to upgrade um, or to monitor. We're not monitoring. Don't know who's good enough. So I think also reflecting and saying where are we lacking as a mental health community in addition to everything we need to do, whether it's awareness policy, you know, all of those larger things that everyone's talked about. So I think, yeah, that would also be a little bit of a flag slash take back in my mind. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all those three points, uh, you know, need to be noted and clearly need to be worked upon. Um, I would request Priyanka to go next. Okay, so I think there was great insight with uh, everyone on board and it was so lovely to uh, hear a lot of different things which we all, though we come from the same profession, but at the same time, we are extending our hands in different categories. I think that's the best part. And we're trying our best to spread as much as awareness or end the stigma in that term. I think uh, the first step, uh, what I got a takeaway from this is, I think we all can form an ally in terms of uh, you know working in this field together and making it a success uh, so that's uh, one of the takeaway like aditi also mentioned uh, about you know we need to change our own system about mental health so let me give you a small example of uh, i don't know if how many people are from the ma background uh, but when we were in our mas and masters i think that the things we were taught during our internship or the things we did study in our curriculum is not something which we apply practically when we started practicing. So you see there's so much of difference when you come in outside the college world. And uh, when I started working independently, I think I did not know uh, if I was on the right track. Probably what I studied is what I'm not practicing. So you see the first uh, thing of curriculum which we spoke, it's not just a start talking about mental health, but I think it's also teaching people of uh, what is there in mental health when it comes to professions. Yeah, so even I think professionals need to know uh, what exactly they are willing to do in this field. And you know, we all know that the stigma attached in this uh, field is uh, tremendous and uh, not everybody is willing to speak about it. Uh, I, in fact, today I also attended a session of, with Hamsafar Trust regarding, uh, you know, gender diversity. And it was so lovely that the school had arranged for the students uh, with the, you know, eighth to 10th graders where, you know, they were thought about it and they were asked to speak about it. I think this is where we need to start working upon. Uh, you see, not much schools are open about talking about uh, you know, these sensitive topics. Uh, there are parents, there are people who, you know, come and question, uh, what did you teach about, uh, you know, all this in class? Are you trying to teach my kids about pornography? Like, uh, these were the questions we have faced. And it is so strange that it comes from, uh, you know, a generation that is maybe a little bit older to us, maybe not much older, but definitely a little more older to us. And it is not... Uh, completely a great and good feeling to have such things you know happening around so i think uh, the best part from today's session was to hear uh, that each one is trying uh, their best to come into this field and work forward though we don't hold from or hold the background of the same profession uh, like we have two three people coming out from the external background but yet working and advocating uh, for this field is a great effort so I thank everybody here and uh, I wish we can move forward together in the same way. So thank you, Sharmili, for this. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I just loved uh, the point, point of, you know, forming an ally and also what Aditi said about the collaboration culture, because together we can do a lot. Uh, and, you know, as you said, moving ahead in the same direction. So that would really make a difference. And yes, Rashi, uh, you are the last one. <laughs> Right. So I think this was such a great session. And uh, first of all, I am just in awe of everyone here because I, I am an advocate. So I sort of try to amplify and try to uh, push 
this cause a little further but you guys you are doing the real work you guys are out there who are you know um making this world a better place and helping so many people uh, be it at, at the grassroots level or at a you know hospital setting or or anywhere you know so i think um mad respect for all of you first of all and i think this was the biggest take away from me to just get to hear from the community uh the the professionals themselves because it's always such a great learning experience to sort of meet professionals and collaborate with them and just get to hear their thoughts because you actually get to know about the shortcomings and how we can sort of work towards that together so people talked about you know policy changes um and and bringing the government into the loop which I i'm you know all for it because uh, the mental health care act 2017 is something that we need to refine and implement um you know we have seen in various countries like the united kingdoms where uh, the government has appointed a minister for suicide prevention mental well being so there needs to be that sort of um, a proactive approach by our government as well to have a cabinet minister a rank holder who works towards mental health and mental well being why not have that you know um and also we've seen in china there has been an implementation of the suicide prevention policy and the rates um the suicide rates have gone down drastically so we know that these policies from the government they work um they can be implemented and they do show results so uh you know we should take um cues from these things and sort of Uh, integrate those into our systems as well and uh, even coming to the treatment gap which we are experiencing right now like the number of mental health professionals versus the number of people who need help is huge and that's where i think starting that conversation um which i think anaga talked about and um you know so many all, i think all of us we talked about this how it's very important for us to make sure that more mental health professionals um we have more mental health professionals in the country more people take up this profession um and i think that again will begin by inculcating it into the education system changing our biases changing our outlook towards uh mental health in general so just starting that conversation i think um yeah it's it's been a great great uh session thank you so much thank you so much almali so for, for making this happen <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. And yeah, I would not take a lot of time because like everyone has, you know, some other commitments. So yeah, I would love to thank each one of you for, you know, taking out your time and being here for almost one hour now and, you know, um uh, enlightening us with so many points that we really need to work upon in order to make mental health, you know, in order to spread awareness about mental health and make it accessible and affordable for all. So thank you so much for being here. and uh, it was really a great evening and you know to have everyone here at this panel thank you thank so you much. much thank you thank you so shamali